Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I've got for you some DIY pom-pom no-sew cushions. So let's get started with the first pom-pom picture pillow. So you will need a printed cushion, some fabric glue, some scissors, and some coloured pom-poms of your choice. So you're going to stick these pom-poms all around the edge of this cushion and it just finishes it off nicely. So these I got from Hobbycraft and they've got two sides to them and I'm going to glue the fabric glue to the flat end and stick it on to the cushion. So first off I'm going to take the inside out just so I've got the pillow case to work with. So you're going to start off by using your fabric glue and you're going to stick that to the flat edge of the pom-poms. Now I chose this really nice pink colour to complement the print on the cushion. So you're going to stick that onto the edge and be careful when you go around the zip that you don't glue the zip together. And also I found it really useful to stick some pegs on just to hold it down while it dries. And then when you go around the corners, just make sure you add extra glue and stick a few more pegs closer to the corners to secure it around the corners. And that's your first pillow finished. And I like this one on my vanity. It's just really comfortable and it just really looks pretty on the Perspex chair. So next onto the Pom Pom Quote Pillow. So you will need a plain cushion, some photo paper, some scissors, your favourite quote. So you're going to stick this quote onto the cushion with the photo paper. So I just did this one on Pick Monkey of my favourite quote and I printed that onto the photo paper. When you print this onto the photo paper, make sure you do it onto the plain side and do a mirror image version of it when you go to print in the printer settings. So next I'm going to cut that out and stick it on to the pillow. So I'm going to place it where I want to iron it on. So next you're going to set your iron to the highest setting, depending on your fabric and mine's going to take three minutes so I'm going to set my timer so that it's ready for when I iron for three minutes but check with the photo paper depending on your fabric to the timings you'll need to iron for so I just iron up and down and then each side and I just keep ironing until I feel the paper is ready to come off so then you need to completely let it cool and once it's cooled you can start peeling it off to reveal your design. So here's my finished quote printed onto the pillow and I'm just going to finish this off with some mint green pom-poms that I'm going to stick around the edge of the heart. So using the fabric glue again, just carefully stick these on with the flat side and then you're good to go. And here is my finished printed quote pom-pom pillow. So last but not least onto the pom-pom polka dot pillow. So you will need a plain cushion again, some acetate, a pen, some scissors, some scotch tape, some fabric paint, a sponge and some pom-poms and then some fabric glue. So first off you're going to take your acetate and you're going to use this as your stencil. Now I actually used the fabric paint as my stencil because I wanted a polka dot. So 
So I'm going to draw around that and then cut round in the middle with the scissors to create my circle stencil. So next I'm going to stick this on with some scotch tape. Whereabouts I want it on the pillow. So I want mine kind of um, concertina but quite sporadic. So next you're going to use your fabric paint and you're going to pour some out and dab that on with the sponge. So I decided to start my polka dots um, at each corner and then work my way in so there was more in the middle but you can do whatever design you want. So here's the finished polka dots and next I'm going to stick on my pom poms to finish. So you're going to do the same thing as the first pillow, fabric glue all around the edge. And then you're going to stick your pom-poms on with the flat side down and then pin them with some pegs to secure it while it dries completely. I let this dry overnight and the same with the paint as well. And there is your finished cushion. So guys, thank you so much for watching my DIY cushions. If you would like me to do any more DIYs, send a request down below in the comments. And don't forget to watch my previous videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter for more inspiration. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.